If you're a Christian that's struggling to better understand God's purpose and plan for your life, you are not alone. There are millions of Christians out there who are struggling to align with God, to know Him better, and to understand their point and purpose in serving Him throughout this life. I know because I struggled this way for many, many years until I got serious about wanting to understand God's purpose and ways and the rest is history. So let me give you a little bit of insight of what happened. It was back in 2016, and I get a what I call a wake-up call, 5 a.m. wake-up call. And on my mind, I have this impression. The impression is saying, Mark 12, 28 through 31. I don't know the scripture by heart, so I get out of bed because this, this impression would not go away. I go downstairs, make a pot of coffee, and I'm pacing around my kitchen island area, just trying to figure out what, what is going on here? What is the scripture? go into my office, Google the scripture, and sure enough, right there before me is Mark 12, 28 through 31. Very clear, Jesus's greatest command. And it says to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. And the second is to love others as you love yourself. I read that scripture three times, contemplating why is he sharing this scripture with me? I, I've heard this many, many times through church and sermons. And all of a sudden it hit me. This is our ultimate purpose as believers. Forgive me for those that are laughing at me who already know this, <laughs> but I didn't. And I believe that there are millions of other Christians out there who don't fully grasp that this is our ultimate purpose. So today I want to talk about our calling, our purpose, and our missions. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will have 100% clarity about those three different topics and you can walk away with more confidence and clarity and hopefully feel much more aligned with God after this. My name is Teresa Devine, and I'm the CEO of Teresa Devine Company and the creator of 24-7 Purpose. And before I forget, subscribe below and don't, so you don't miss another training. I'll be doing these every week from here forward. So let's get back to purpose. Once I read that scripture, I felt like the Lord was just giving me sort of a data dump of what this all meant and what it meant for my life. From that point forward, I was working in the corporate world. I was a CIO for Fortune 500 companies. And at that time, I was doing consulting work on my own and doing advisory technology work for, for many companies. And in that process, I developed a 24-7 purpose, which is a ministry designed to help other believers get closer to God, understand with full 100% clarity what their purpose is, what it looks like to live that out on a daily basis, and build a spiritual growth plan. and. From there, the Lord is leading them, obviously, through this whole process. So let's get into it. For years, again, I struggled. I, I was constantly trying to seek out my purpose. The problem with that statement is the word my. So for me, what happened was in my corporate life, high demand job and everything else that was going on, I had this strong prompting to go do something that felt more Christian, that felt more spiritual. I went on mission trips to Africa, uh, did some mission work in, in Haiti. What the Lord showed me, my purpose wasn't serving in Africa. And my purpose, ultimately, of loving the Lord, our God, with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength was everywhere. Obviously, in Africa, if I was there. Obviously, in the greater Atlanta area where I live. And serving people in every circumstance, showing up as the light of Christ and being the light. So he showed me with clarity that our purpose is not about a mission. It's not about one singular event. It is literally our entire life, but it's all about being and becoming more Christ-like, being the light of Christ to everyone that we encounter in every situation, whether that's a hobby, our work, our family life, our relationships, our health, everything is about doing our best to honor and glorify the Lord. So what that did for me was immediately freed me from this desire to know this one big grand thing that I thought that I was supposed to contribute before I die. And instead, it gave me the revelation that I needed to become more Christ-like. And the only way that I knew I could do that and the way any Christian can do that is to understand his word learn his ways, get closer to him, and really let the Holy Spirit take over and guide my life. 
So I went on a quest from that point to get more knowledge and become more Christ-like. And I went through an intense year of a discipleship training that was amazing and changed my life. And I talk about that course and recommend it to all of my coaching clients. But from there, I was like, so now what? I looked and I searched for something that would help me implement what I had learned. But I, I really couldn't find anything from that pure practical, very customized nature. So I decided to design my own. And thankfully, I had some training along the way that I had no idea that would become part of this mission. It's Strengths Finder, for one. I'm a certified coach in that. And I know some people are saying, oh, no, not our strengths. It's only God's strength. Now, let me be clear. We serve from God's strength as our foundation. But he equipped us with amazing gifts, spiritual gifts, and talents, strengths to help us fulfill all of these different missions that we have in our life. With that, I developed this program and training that's helped numerous people understand how God equipped them, how to align with him and his purpose, and to understand that we have a life full of multiple missions. It's not just one big grand thing. Um, people talk about calling. This ministry is my calling. I would say my calling was to surrender to Christ. My ultimate calling is to surrender to him and let him lead me on the multiple missions that I have throughout this life. No more compartmentalization of faith. The way that I serve my husband is just as important as this video of serving other Christians. The way that I treat other people at the grocery store, to me, is just as important as any other type of ministry work that I might do. So that's what he showed me. And I can tell you, I have the most profound confidence and clarity in serving him daily, in walking that out in faith. So calling, ultimate surrender to the Lord. Purpose, loving him with all of my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and loving others as I love myself. Do I come up short? Am I perfect? Absolutely not. Do I still have more to learn? Of course. We'll always have more to learn about the Lord and his word and his ways until we're on the other side of heaven. And the days that I fall short, I don't beat myself up. I just start all over the next day and get, get back on the, on the prayer bench and get in alignment with him. So purpose, calling, and then missions. I believe our missions are relationships as a wife, as a husband, as a father, a mother, a, an aunt, an uncle. A mission is our work. We certainly represent and uh, can bring Christ-like character to our workplaces and oh, how we need that, right? And so I am excited to share that insight with you. I hope and pray that that brought some clarity to someone out there who might be struggling to understand what is my purpose. If you know what God's purpose is for all believers, that makes us all the same in the way that we're supposed to be uh, fulfilling and bringing him glory on a daily consistent basis, weaving Christ-like character into our lives in all circumstances, and then finding the missions that he wants us to carry out. I believe that 24-7 purpose is my current mission as far as my work. Our life is our mission. Think of it that way. Your purpose is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and your calling is full surrender, giving up your life to Christ, and fulfilling your missions for his glory. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. And again, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another training.